Hello, beautiful people. This is Sharon. I'm going to do another bottle cap pour, but on a larger scale. I really like the one that turned out um, last time. Let me show it to you real quick. This is the one I did last time. And I have a lot of um, high school friends and stuff that commented on this and they really loved it when I, I put it on my Facebook page and my Facebook page if you ever want to look at it is just um, facebook.com slash spare time art design so but everybody loved this so I want to try and recreate this on a larger scale if possible so I'm going to be using yellow, which is cad yellow medium, and what is this, deep violet, which is um, Liquitex Basic, and this is aqua green, which is Artist Loft, and Prussian blue, which is Liquitex Basic. So let me push this back a little bit and let me put on my gloves. I'm so tired of picking paint out of my cuticles. My poor fingernails are just trashed from washing my hands so much. They just break and brittle and whatnot. So I thought I might try and protect them a little bit. So I've got my white base coat on here already. Um, I did a really crappy job on the on the edges, but that's okay. Okay, so I have two vitamin water zero bottle caps. I live on this stuff. It's so good. I like the lemon. The lemon is my favorite. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of white in each one to start with. All right, let me move these over this way. Okay, I'll start with, I have silicone in this, and it's just, all it is is paint and um, Floetrol and a few drops of silicone. So I don't want to dump this in here really because I'm afraid I'll do too much and screw it up. So let's just drip it in there for right now until I get impatient and then we'll probably end up pouring it. I'm still thinking in my brain how I want to put these on the canvas and how I want to move them. Hopefully, I'll come up with something good. I watch Anne Marie Ritterhoff and she she does these a lot and hers always turn out so nice that I hope I can get mine to come out as nice as hers. And Anne Osborne does stuff like this too, and it turns out really cool. So, I'm gonna give it a try myself. Let's see if I can do this a little bit quicker here. Feel free to fast forward if this part right here bores you to tears. And you probably can't even really see what I'm doing very well either. But I'm just scooping the paint into the cup with my popsicle stick. That's all I'm doing. Alright, so we have some, this is what I have so far. Okay. So now I'm going to drizzle a little bit of white on there. And I'm gonna 
try and do another layer. My box is really crooked because my bottle caps are floating this way. All right, let's get some more yellow. Well, I guess I'll try and fill these up to the top as best I can. Flipping them is going to be interesting. That's for sure. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of a direction I want to put these on the canvas. It's getting kind of full. I don't think I really need much more blue than that. But let's put lots more purple in here. I sure hope this works. I mean, I'm sure it's going to work, but is it going to look like what I got in my head? That's a completely different story. Okay, so let's get these off of here. Mm -hmm. A little more green. That green is really pretty with all that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's bring this canvas back so you can see it. There we go. So I was thinking of putting like one here and then when I do it, it's kind of like doing it in a wave, like putting, putting them right down here and then do it in like a wave. But then also I was thinking about putting one on each side and going kind of in a curve that way and then in a curve that way. And I'm thinking it might look better if it's kind of all in the center and leave some white. But I don't know. I don't know. I've got some spots that are a little dark here. Let's... All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is put one here, one here, and then go like that, and then go like that. So let's see if I can flip this without completely. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> that was. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so we got to give it something to float on here, so. I'm such a kid. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Might not have enough paint to do everything I want to do here. All right. Okay, my box is really little. Oh, you know what? I've got spot here that's kind of down to bare bones. Let's throw a little white in there and we'll give it a little bit of a tilt. I want to kind of keep it in the middle. I want some negative space. You know what, though? Get my 
straw. Let me get this over the top of this white. There we go. really pretty. I'm going to do something about that ring that I left there. There we go. And we'll go back this way. way a little bit and go this way a little bit. All right. Let's let this sit there for a moment and kind of figure out what it wants to do. Let me f get some of this covered up. I got blue fingerprints on my white here. Can't have that. I think it looks kind of cool. I kind of like it. So, let's give it a torch. this for a minute and figure out what I want to do. I kind of like how it's all separated right there. I have a thought. This will sink, so... with the straw a little bit. I just smeared white paint all over my face. That's okay. this 
this around. This is why I put this in a smaller box because I knew I'm going to want to turn it around. I think that looks pretty cool. I might leave it, just leave it at that. I have got paint all over my nose. I rubbed my nose because it itched and now I've got paint all over it. So I'm thinking, I'm probably gonna ruin it by doing this, but putting just a little bit of purple in some of these areas here. Okay, well, I didn't ruin it, so that's good. cool. Let's torch it some more. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. more dark blue right there.
some really cool cells coming up here. Let's see what happens if I tilt it a little bit. I don't want to overdo this. I have a habit of doing that and I don't want that to happen. that's it what do you think good bad not so good not so bad can you even see it because I can't tell if you can see it or not my glasses are all blurry Once it's dry, I will, um, I'm going to try and get some of these spots to settle a little bit. When it dries, I will, um, get a better close-up of when it's dry, because I think, um, with all the glare and everything, it's, it's so hard to get a nice picture of it. So I think from now on, once it dries, I'll, um, I'll do the close-ups. Try and get some of these little edges covered up here. So, if you like the video, if you like the painting, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I would love it if you would subscribe. It'd be awesome. And feel free to throw a comment or two in there. Let me know what you think of the, the way I did this and how it came out and what your thoughts are. And that's about it. I, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, it pretty much looks like what I had in mind, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to call it a night. So you all have a good evening and go out there and do some painting and show them, show them off because you never know. You might have yourselves a masterpiece. You just don't know. Good night. Okay, so I lied. I said I was going to wait for it to dry, but I wanted to show it now. So here it is, all in its glory. So let's come down here and I'll try and get out of the shadow there or stop being the shadow. So it gave me some pretty decent looking 
patterns and colors and and everything. This the camera just does not do it justice at all. I mean like this right here. That just looks so cool right on the painting. Just all those all those little pieces there on top of there. I'm creating a shadow here. I'm sorry. I just do not. There, there we go. There's my little volcano. I just do not have the a big enough place to do really good camera work. So I apologize. So that's it. I'm going to smooth out these little lumps and bumps here and with the hopes that it dries nice and smooth. But that's it. There she is. I hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.